Hey there guys, it's Crazed here as always, bringing you some more DayZ content. If I sound any bit different, the reason is I do kind of have a cold at the moment, it's playing havoc with my voice, so that's just kind of the reason why. But regardless of how I feel, the show must go on. So, where am I? I'm just outside of Starry here at the moment. You're probably wondering, how did I get to where I am from the, ever since the, uh, the co-op video? I believe that was part two. I can't even remember my own episodes. That's just freaking brilliant. Anywho, um, a lot of shit actually happened in between the co-op video and where I am now, but none of it was recorded because mostly, like, it was just, it was just, it was a lot of running, and it involved me dying to a hacker. Like, as you can see, I'm just kind of in a tree at the moment. But it ended up, me, ended up with me dying to, on a hack server because the server just had you die instantly when you joined it. So, yeah. Got all my stuff back, created a camp all the way over at Krasnostav, once I zoom over there. Krasnostav in a little area right here, like, we have a ton of tents set up, and most of them are, don't have any gear in them to speak of, because we just don't have enough. But I went to the Northwest Airfield last night, did some stuff, I didn't want to record it because it was literally just a lot of me looting. But as you can see, I have most of my gear, I did manage to get most of it back when I died. I have the M4A3 CCO at the moment, which is quite nice. Uh, I picked that up at the airfield. And I also still have my silenced M4A1. Now I have a ton. I have a ton of buddies that, that are that are also playing with me, but they're not on the game at the moment. They have a lot of our gear that we got from our hack server as well. That was just literally just thermal AS50s that we decided to keep because, well, I feel safer with me having it than someone else. So yeah, we took them all, and here we are. I'm outside of Starry, as I said, and really my main plan for today that I want to get done, if at all possible, is to find a vehicle. So. I've gone on to some of the heat maps for vehicles. Yeah, I know. How controversial! He wants to know where the vehicles spawn! Yada, yada, yada. Anywho, um, if that does offend you, the door is indeed to your left. Anyways, I want to go back into Starry, check that out. I want to go down to Mishkino, because there's a truck that spawns near there. I want to go down to Cabanino, because another vehicle spawns there. Vibor, because a bus and a UAZ spawn there. And I want to go down to Black Forest, because on the road leading to it, there is a motorcycle that has a chance of spawning. I think that's a good little hit list, and I think we should go check it out. So, without further ado, I'm just going to set my map for Starry. Get back here. And, let's see, I say right about there sounds reasonable. Alrighty. That's a good 1.3 kilometers away, but I'm going to just keep it up. And should be able to run over there. Hopefully I don't get shot at. I, d I don't feel too confident actually playing in the daytime, simply because starry and daytime is a little bit hazardous. Because there tend to be snipers and stuff tends to go wrong. And I'm also running into the light as well. I'm running into the sun, so the sun glare in my eyes doesn't fucking help either. Oh, God. Anywho. Hopefully we can actually find ourselves a vehicle. Oh, boy. This could be dangerous. Let's quickly get across this field here. I don't want to get shot at by anyone. Which most likely might be the case. This is the server where I do have the base set on, in case you were wondering. I know I said that, but there'd probably still be some confusion. I like to play on this server. It's really fun. Uh, it tends to have a lot of good loot on it as well. It's a, it's a very good... Uh, haven't had problems with hackers on it. That's that's a huge thing for me. I don't want to end up on a server that even has like hackers on it. Like When I started my original DayZ playthrough... Well, that's kind of why I'm excited to be doing this episode, because it's literally just back in how we used to do it, with, like, I would play by myself and just have fun. Like, don't get me wrong, I love doing the highlights of doing co-ops with the buds and everything, but, uh, besides that, eh, I, I, I kind of like to play by myself, giggity giggity, don't take that out of context. If you're wondering why I lost my train of thought, there, I received a text! <laughs> so, yeah, huh. Ah, goodness. Anywho, but yeah, not feeling too confident going into Starry. How many players are actually here at the moment? Yeah, so five including me. Or is it five including me? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, paintball on Sunday. Well, I can't do it, you fool. I have to do the show. Uh. In case you're wondering, yeah, that was the text. I have to do the show. <laughs> Damn it! Ah, uh, he knows these things. Uh, 
In case you're wondering what I'm talking about, I'm just responding to the text as I'm running. This is really hazardous, by the way. I probably should not be doing this, because I might get shot at and not realize it. Okay. I can't text with one arm. To be granted, I can't text at all, so that's just bad. I'm a terrible texter. I have fat finger. I have a fat finger. It sucks. I just, like, press all the icons. Anywho. Okay, well... Was my am did my ammo actually completely... Wow, it did too. <laughs> You're wondering, I was just, uh, I was just wondering, because it seemed like my ammo completely replenished... Bleh, bleh, bleh. Try that sentence again. Okay, it seemed like my, uh, my ammo completely replenished itself since last night, which I guess it did. In which case, I feel foolish, because I had an M M9 silence that I got rid of, and I forgot that, you know, your ammo would be replenished when you log back on. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. Is that a cow? That is a cow, but I don't have any need for it at the moment. I'm full on on blood, so... Normally I would cut this out, but I felt like I needed to talk and commentate, and I don't know why. It's just, I've been so, it's been so long since I've done a video, and I had to get this DayZ video up and ready to go, because I literally have no footage to do, and I want to just, like, talk about the state of what's going to be happening with the channel over the while, over the next few days. I have been actually thinking about cut ending some Let's Plays, and the reason is, it's just there's too many. With the time that I have and the work that I put into them, it's just not actually feasible for me to get all the episodes out before their sequels come out. Like, Deus Ex I want to keep playing, but in terms of uh, Assassin's Creed 3, or Assass yeah, Assassin's Creed 3 will be coming out soon, it, it just doesn't seem feasible for me to actually be able to finish Assassin's Creed Revelations because I've done three episodes of it so far and literally to get one episode out just for the audio work. The audio work on one of those episodes takes me about six hours. Yeah? Six hours to get the audio work done. Uh, 50 or so Like our last Assassin's Creed Revelations video was about 50 minutes or an hour and 25 minutes of footage condensed into about 45 minutes and that was just yeah so that the editing takes a while as well so I don't know I've, I've been honestly considering about cutting off the Assassin's Creed Let's Play series if you honestly it's all up to you guys if you wanted to continue but I want to continue Deus Ex because I just love that game to death and I love Assassin's Creed 2 but the amount of work I have to put into it to actually get it going and the amount of time I have it's just not feasible for me to actually do that I could do it if I if, if if the demand was large enough, but yeah. <sighs> we'll see. Anyways, we're right here at a uh, starry now, so okay. Now the thing about starry is that there is a little area where UAZ tends to spawn, but I need to be careful because even though there is only five players. Starry is such a hot spot that I'm a little bit afraid. I don't want to do anything too hasty and be foolish and get myself killed. I'm just, uh, I should honestly be rolling here because that makes me completely silent. Okay. Time to act with a little bit of intelligence now. Okay, I gotta get up further along the road here. Those are the tents right there, actually, so. Hmm. Alrighty, I'm just gonna go and check out the, uh. this area over here. Make sure nobody's up in these hills. I should probably switch to direct comms just in case. I'm gonna go quickly check out over these hills but right by here. Make sure nobody's looking down in the starry, because that would just be kind of awkward. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't have anyone up here. I don't want to shoot anyone today. I, 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 I came back from playing Lingor, and I've killed, I killed a lot of people. Uh, I was playing Lingor today, and actually I want to find a way to bridge Lingor and Chernowitz together, but anyways, that's, that's uh, just news for the future. 
Uh, I was playing a lot of Lingor, and I was just a stone cold killer in that because I, I'm literally in a mindset of take no shit from anyone now, just because of the uh, the cold I have at the moment. So if I run into someone, chances are I might just kill them off the bat if they even pose a remote threat to me. Hmm. Anyhow, uh, I don't like being up in these hills. Thing is, I could also take pot. I could also get shot at from there as well. It's really impossible to cover all these hills, and I just don't have the weaponry to do it. I mean, if I had a thermal gun, it'd be different, but I don't. So what I need to do is I need to quickly sprint over into these bushes here, and manage to find myself a vehicle if there is one. If there isn't, then that's a bit of a damn shame because uh, there's quite a bit of a hike ahead of me. If there isn't, but hopefully it does. Hopefully it does. Oh, goodness. Okay, come on now. Uh, I really have nothing to say at this moment because I'm just uh, a little bit l busy looking at the game here. Just to make sure there isn't anybody that could pose a danger to me off in these trees here. Although I think if there was anybody around, I probably would have been shot at by now. And that white, That white car down there, that's actually not a vehicle that you can take, which is really retarded. I wish Rocket would edit that out, because many a time have I actually seen that. Well, the first time I saw that, and I was like, yay, I found a car, it's fantastic, it's going to be awesome, I'm going to fix it up, and I spent way too long over there wondering why the hell can I get in it and drive away. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's a vehicle here, but I can check the tents to make sure there is uh, some actual gear here worth taking. Hopefully I don't piss off too many zombies. I do have three morphine auto injectors at the moment from uh, looting what, what whatever the place it was called. It was uh, Northwest Airfield. That's where I came from. So I'm a little bit uh, good for loot at the moment. I don't need that many bandages. I could do with some more pistol ammo. Alrighty. I think I'm just gonna go right here and. Oh! There we are. I thought that would hit him in the head, but I was in third person, so whatever. Um, just gonna go right here and there we go. Let's start taking care of getting inside this tent real quick. I really do not like being out here. I feel so exposed. I'm a little bit scared, honestly. Uh, eh. Jesus! Oh, come back here. Are you kidding me? And that is how many fucks that zombie gives. <laughs> Apparently none. Wow. Can I shoot him through this? I don't think I can. Wow. Okay then. Well, that was uh, an experience and a half. Standing ground. Uh, that's pretty good, actually. I might take that. I'm going to take that and throw it in with the rest of the standing ammo. That M4A3 is a pretty good gun. High caliber ammunition. Well, as high caliber as everything else, you know, but... Oh, well. I don't know what that means, but oh well. Okay. Oh jeez, I thought someone was standing there right now. Ooh. I don't know why I thought that dumpster was a person, but uh, yeah. Uh, okay, that was a whole other level of frightening. Morphine, nope, don't need it. Wait, what? AKS-74U. Huh. Oh, it's one of those. No. <laughs> Simple as that. No. <laughs> okay, let's check this pile right here. Uh, another standing ground. I'll take that. Do 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 do. Never hurts to have ammo, especially for a gun like the M4A3. It's it's a reasonable weapon. You won't find yourself hating it. Plus, it's got a scope as well. So that's a that's a good uh. One of the pros for it, for me at least. What's this right here? Okay. I do not want to be in this town any longer than I have to be. Like, I am so paranoid when it comes to this game. Like, I, I, I hate going into towns. Like, when it comes to being in a city, I'm perfectly fine, but I, I rarely... Ooh, is that an entrenching tool? Well, sweet diggity-doo, it is too. Real ass. 
Anyways, as I was saying, back back to the topic at hand. Um, I, I'm perfectly fine with going to cities like Electro and Cherno because I'm I, I'm fairly knowledgeable uh, bleh, knowledgeable with those places. But when it comes to places like Starry, I, I rarely ever go here, so I I hate going to them because I don't really know the best places. <sighs> Should I take one more painkiller? I think I will. Just throw it in there. It won't take two because. Get rid of this guy right here. There we are. Uh, I just hope I don't run into another player. Uh, PDW. Uh, matter of fact, I will take that. Because of the fact that it has study bullets for each bag. It's, it's a fairly good pistol. I guess I can't even call it a pistol. It's basically an Uzi. What's this right here? Alright. Uh, M203 flare grenades. Don't want those. Well, I'm a little bit sad and disappointed. I was hoping there'd be a car here. Um, yeah, I was hoping there'd be something in this tent, too, but, well, it looks like it's going to be a day of disappointment. Okay, well, hang on. Guess G17 mag is fairly useless. Yeah, I don't know why, but for a certain time period, I thought that the G17 mags could actually be used with the PDW. I'm not sure why. I will take that frag grenade though, because you never know. You never know when you might need to blow something up. AKM? No, I don't want it. I... Yep, nope, nothing nothing worth taking here. Well, I'm fairly well geared off now. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? The hell is this shit? Sandbags? Well, cool. I guess I'll take those, why not? Hell, that's actually the first time I've found sandbags in a lootable form. That's fairly neat. Anyways, I want to get the hell out of here. Uh, I'll get up into these trees and I'll figure out where I'm going to go next because... Actually, I'll just go right out here. Oh, God, I really don't like being out here. I hate Starry. Like, it, it, you know you know why I hate Starry. Anybody who plays DayZ knows why I hate Starry. Just because of the reputation it has. I mean, there's always a sniper here. There's always... Yeah, I hate this place. Okay, fairly safe. Where was the next place I was gonna go? Uh, let me just take a look here. Black Forest. I'll go there, and then <laughs> go here. Yeah, that's not suspicious at all, guys. It's a trap. Blah. Anyway, I want to go to Black Forest because down along this road, I think right on this bend here, a uh, little dirt bike spawns. And I'm hoping it'll still be there. So anyways, I'm going to run along over there. Hopefully I don't get shot on my way there. And I should cut this part out for you. But before I do that, I'm just going to quickly ask you. Because the comments tend to actually have comments for them every now and then. So that's kind of awesome. Actually, that wells me up with a little bit of sense of pride that I actually do have people talking in the comments section. It's like, it's a sign of progress. I don't know. Anywho. Um... What do you guys think about a DayZ series? Like, honestly, if I don't get a response back, I don't care. I'll just bridge it anyways, but... I think I'm just gonna kind of make, like, a PSA right now, is it? I think I'm gonna try and find a way to bridge Chernoris with Lingor. Like, I think I might end up finding a way to leave Lingor... Or, leave Chernoris and go to Lingor. Obviously, I'm gonna do that once I've done everything that I can here on Chernoris. When I've done something so incredibly epic that I have no reason to stay on Chernerus anymore and go check out Lingor. Because I love Lingor for the simple fact that, you know, in the three months that you can do on Chernerus and the epic moments you can get from that, I can get from three hours of playing on Lingor. Because literally, I was playing Lingor today, like I said, and I found about, I believe it was, I should probably be crouched here. Anyways, I believe it was, I think I found, um... Two helicopter crash sites literally about maybe 50 yards away from each other. Oh, hi. Anywho, um, that's enough of him. I can't get through this one. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Okay, there we go. And, uh, and, then when I, and then when I was moving further on down the road, I found another one. So that was three helicopter crash sites. And it's just, it's just stuff like that. I feel it creates for a more engaging, uh, more engaging video. Oh, wow. Hi. How you doing? Don't mind me gonna stroll on up here well if anyone sees this the, the reaction is gonna be a split between what the fuck is he doing and when can I shoot this guy 
Like, seriously, if anyone sees me, I'm hooched. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. He's down. Oh, boy. I'll lose them in this here house right here. Oh, no, I won't. Ah! Everything is going according to plan. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Relax, my friends. I am a professional. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Leave me alone. There we go. I don't want to get up onto this hill here. Should be okay though. Maybe not. Okay. There we go. There we go. Waste of ammo, I know, but I just wanted to do that. Why not? Because why the hell not, guys? Why not? Anyhow. I'm gonna start making making some progress for Black Forest, and hopefully I run into a dirt bike. If I don't, I'll be mildly perturbed. And if not, I'll start checking the other places. Because honestly, if I don't find a vehicle, trekking from the base and back is just gonna be an absolute pain in my ass. Like, it's not getting shot at or dying isn't so much of a big concern for me anymore. Because you know, I have I have okay gear. I'd love a thermal gun, maybe a sniper at the moment, but I'm fairly well off at the moment. So. I really honestly just need a vehicle and then I'm pretty much good to go and then some interesting stuff can start happening. Anyhow, I will state again, as just, <laughs> I keep I keep making random public service announcements, but I'm just going to say one thing more. If you guys do want to be a part of the DayZ series, just send me a private message over YouTube or whatever you want, over Twitter, Facebook, I don't care. Anyhow. If you just want to be part of the Days and series, just contact me and, you know, offer up what you can bring to the series, and I'll say, yeah, sure, we'll play together, and I'll throw you in the series, because I literally do not play on Cherneris if I'm not recording it. So, most of the things you see here are without split. The only time the only time that I haven't been recording is, like I said, when I died in that hack server, because no one needed to see, like, a day and a half's worth of setting up base and getting our old gear back and all that shit. Anyhow. I'm going to start moving to Black Forest now, and I'm going to shut up and actually cut the video here. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so I'm down here by the uh, Black Forest, and I'm just going to quickly take a look around for this dirt bike. If it's not here, then I'll just cut out and uh, go on down to the next area. Hopefully it is, though. I just realized, though, that I hope the dirt bike is fueled, because if it's not, I don't have enough room or any materials to actually fix the thing if it needs to be fixed, so hopefully it's in good condition. Because if it's not, I'm a little bit more than hooched. Anyhow, let's take a look around for it. It is supposedly supposed to be right here by Black Forest. Actually, it might even be further up the road. I think it is further up the road. So I'm just going to go up the road and see if I can find it. If I run into it, great. If I don't, then I'm going to just go on the next stop to try and find a vehicle. Because I do need to find one. I honestly... That, that's that's priority number one for the Day Z series right now is to find a vehicle. I shouldn't be running on the road right now, but to be honest, with two other players on here besides me, I'm not entirely concerned. I think everything will be fine. Anyhow, hmm. Yeah, nope. Just gonna keep a quick eye out for it here. Uh, I'm not even. Yeah, if it's not here, then I just go on the next the little journey to the next area. I hope it's here though, because that would save me some time and effort, and you know. <laughs> oh god. Finding a vehicle in this game. Some days it's oh Jesus. Uh, I might just have to go down and check out the old uh, pick cause lava. No, I honestly don't think there's a dirt bike here. Damn. I suppose it's a motorcycle. <laughs> oh well. Huh. It's a damn shame. Yeah, this is one of the spawns for the dirt bike in case you didn't know. It comes along here. I thought it was on this road, right here on this little curve, but I thought I'd check up around here just in case. But it seems not, so I'm going to go check out the next areas. Maybe, just maybe, it'll have what I need. If it doesn't, then... Because with Vish Mishkino, 
the the truck should typically spawn right here, like a vehicle, a, a pickup truck, an off-road pickup truck spawns right right here. Vibor, it usually spawns around in this area here. And with Starry, where I was before, as you can see, it was usually in this area. So yeah, huh? Vishnoi tends to have one as well, supposedly, but that's kind of a kind of a hike away. Like. I don't want to have to run more than I already am. So yeah, unless it's just chilling in the trees here and I'm too stupid to realize it. Uh, yeah, not a bike, unfortunately. I guess I'll just uh, select another coordinate and start moving on. I think the best idea at this point is to head on down to Mishkanau, and if not, I will then head on. Or let's see what I have for coordinates here. Where can I go? What are the options? Cabanino. Where the balls is Cabanino? I don't even remember finding that before. Oh, it's right there. So yeah, I could go Mishkano, Vibor, and Cabanino. And go up around that way. And then I could loop on down back to there. Huh. I'll have to decide. I honestly have no idea. Anyways, I'll uh, pick a coordinate and I'll start moving. <laughs> Six kilometer walk. This might take a while. I'll be back in a sec. So, uh, guys, I was, uh, I was just strolling along, and, oh my god, there's one there too. I was just strolling along, and, uh, I came across this little hill, and I thought I'd check out and see, check it out and see what was on top of it. And I should actually check out the gear for these as well, but I found us some vehicles! <laughs> oh my dear god. Oh, it has no fuel. What is, uh, is there anything in the gear? Uh, oh, sweet mother of mercy. Well, it has jerry cans. Okay, well, time to start grabbing shit. And there's also tents there as well. Okay, well, oh, fuck. Okay, okay, I just gotta start getting as much as I can, as quick as I can. Do, 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 M249 saw, oh, Jesus Christ. Mountain Dew, G17, M9 silence, okay, no. Gear. What does this got? Ooh, there was a GPS there. I need that. I literally have just about everything. Okay, I want to go see what this V3S has. Okay, hang on. I gotta go back to the go back here for the gear. Wow. Is that, is that even is that even possible? <laughs> Okay, hang on. This is ridiculous. Okay. I'm just gonna grab the, uh, GAZ. And I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Okay. Put this in the gear. Put this in the gear. And put this in the gear. Grab. Where's the, uh, jerry cans? Okay. Get out. Oh, no. This is stressful. Okay, come on, come on, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm just worried that some I'm gonna start taking shots from somewhere. Okay, it's been refueled. Alrighty. I guess off we go. Well guys, here we are. It took me about maybe half an hour to get up here, and as you can see I'm fairly low on gas, but we are here. This is the camp I was talking about. I should quickly save this, because it'd be a shame if we lost it. Alright, it's been saved. This is the camp I was talking about. I'm not sure who was the idiot that put a tent here, by the way. So you're gonna... yeah. We, anyways, there's nothing inside the tents, because they're actually fairly hard to access to, because, because they're inside the trees. But we haven't put anything inside the tents yet, simply because, you know, it's... We haven't had the gear, or I haven't, like... Pretty much this is my campsite and my campsite alone. I'm gonna quickly just squash over this tent. There we go. Stands out too much, I don't like it. But yeah. Uh, just gonna move this off into a tree here. So it's not standing out so much, but yeah. This is basically the campsite. It's way off in Kras and Stav. It's It's fairly well hidden for the most part. There we go. Get out. There we are. 
Now, hopefully, we don't have the same bad luck that those guys did. Save the gas again. I'm gonna start putting shit into the tents here because why not? I think I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the rest of the night. I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Mr. Hitchcock, what is your definition of happiness? A clear horizon. Nothing to worry about on your plate. Only things that are created and not destructive.